Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is pretty neat. I don't know how many people are going to be able to utilize it, but I'm going to utilize it a lot. I do a lot of pipe bending or tubing bending. And if I wanted this shape of the, this is a five and a half inch radius. I have a three and a half inch radius and it's for one inch pipe. So use five and a half. But I've always wanted to know how long this line is. Well, now there's a way. You just click on the item. And this is a macro. Somebody invented it, not me. And the length is 30 inches and a little bit more than a quarter. So when I go out to the shop and bend it, I know I need 30 and a quarter inches to get that shape. So how are you going to use this? Um... I don't really know, but it's pretty good for fill, filling out volumes and stuff. This is the website, but I don't know what RU stands for, and it's in a foreign language. But there's a blog, and I've got this saved, and if, if you don't want to take the time to type that out, um, ask me a question, and I'll, well, matter of fact, I'll, I think I'm going to try to post it at the, at the, underneath the video, see if I can't cut and paste that. But anyway, what you could do, you've got a square that's 30 by 15. You have to, you know, load, go to this website and load the macro. And it, that's a little bit of a trick. And I actually learned something tonight. You can right click and assign that macro a, a keyboard stroke really easy. So I, I assign alternate C and it comes up. It's. So if you were gonna, if I was gonna build this out of, of, you know, a frame, I would need 70 and a half inches of product. The area is 300 square inches. It's got four nodes. I mean, it tells you a lot. See, there's the guy's website right there, the person. But here's where it might come in handy, and I don't know, if you needed to find out the volume of this shape. I've got a 12 by 12 square that was 144 and then a 12 by 12 circle that was like 113. Well, alternate C, we've got a, now we've got a volume of 228.85. So you can figure out the volume. Now, for most people, this isn't going to help. But if you just happen to be a tubing bender and bend tubing, this could be a big, big help. Now when you, so you would just draw something and uh, get it the length you want out. Let's say we want this one 25 inches and I want it, we'll go 15 inches tall for right now. We'll get this out of the way and we'll put this in the center of the page. We'll do our radius at 5.5 then I'm going to draw a line, a straight line, hold down the control key, put P and put it in the center of the page, get your virtual segment delete key, and delete the bottom section of the line, delete that line, control C or alternate C, I need a piece of pipe that's 35 and a quarter inches long. That's pretty slick. So I'm going to show this at the end of the video. I'm going to try to post it at the bottom. It's a neat macro. Uh, I don't know how the guy wrote it, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.